In 2002, UK courts rejected a 60-year-old man's attempt to invoke the ancient right to trial by combat, rather than pay a £25 fine for a minor motoring offence. While this arbitrary fight to the death sounds pretty comical, believe it or not, some of the key requirements for the trial by combat are still in place in the United Kingdom. Learn the most honourable way to stake your claim on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. Trial by combat is a pretty simple concept, really. In cases of a disagreement or a claim against one's honour, a simple fight with weapons, pretty often to the death, can be used to determine who exactly is in the right. Ideally, this was saved for times when no other methods, like speaking to a witness, were available, but not always. Historically, these trials have been used for many different cases, from petty disputes all the way up to murder and even treason. Having a tiff with your spouse? Well, just duke it out. The marital duel has been widely documented in Germany. Used to settle disputes between a husband and wife, this duel involved the man being placed into a hole or a tub about waist deep with one arm tied behind his back, armed with a mace or a club. Meanwhile, the woman gets part of her sleeve extended and filled with a weight, so she's got the leverage and mobility while he's relying on a trusty weapon. Fairly matched, I guess. This practice was so common in the Middle Ages, a full rulebook and guide to dueling etiquette was published for it. As I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear, the UK has a pretty storied history with the trial by combat as well. Similar to the marital duels, there were rules and guidelines for it that evolved from the feudal ages all the way to the medieval times, dying out significantly in the 15th century. In the UK though, these duels weren't particularly fair. Depending on who was representing themselves in battle, participants would be treated very, very differently. Commoners were often given a limited choice of weapons, not good ones, and very limited leather armour as well. Knights, on the other hand, well, they got full access to their arsenal of weapons and armour. Trial by combat was also a part of the coronation of a new monarch. The champion would ride into Westminster in full garb, armour, horse and all, and act on the monarch's behalf in the case of a challenge to the throne. Shockingly, no one ever actually opted into this, and it's become a role with very little action since. Believe it or not, there is still a designated champion in the United Kingdom. This role has been continuously filled since way back in 1066, and since the 14th century, the champion has always come from one family in particular, the Dymoak family. They hold the manor of Scrivelsby in my home county of Lincolnshire in England. The full title for this role is the Queen's Champion and Standard Bearer of England, and it's currently held by Francis John Fane Marmion Dymoke. While the title still stands, it's barely a full-time day job, and Francis is actually a chartered accountant nowadays with a much lighter workload for the royal family. Would you have opted to solve a dispute by combat, or would you stick to a much more traditional method? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Adam Doricott, and we'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.